Greetings one and all and welcome to the Age of Sail Tournament. I am your host, Chromoid, and this tournament we'll be watching wooden ships with lots of cannons fighting against each other to see who can claim the title of King of the High Seas. Uh, for those of you who were here, I think almost a year ago, uh, Tajima ran a similar tournament uh, about pirate ships, and it was really, really cool. And a lot of people enjoyed it, I think. And I thought that this time around we'd run it again with a little more mm, focus on the just the air of the time. Uh, so what we have is uh, all wooden ships. Well, they can be wood or stone or lead or glass. Those are the only structural blocks allowed. Um, they can use only simple weapon rams and simple weapon cannons of any kind. Uh, Carmenera, I want to give a big shout out to Carmenera, a user on the forums, who is a huge content creator and has been spearheading a Simple Weapons Rebalance mod that has uh, added a couple of new cannons and reworked the old cannons in the Simple Weapons tab so that they uh, they, they function differently and actually qu uh, pack quite a punch now. Uh, you'll see in this tournament there's some that use the new exploding cannons, or not exploding cannons, they're explosive cannons. Uh, they fire explosive shells like mortars and uh, even the kinetic cannons do a lot more damage so thank you Carmen Arif and all the crew with you who helped to make those uh, that's gonna make this tournament a lot more exciting and as you can see these ships are much bigger so uh, I've upped the um, materials count uh, significantly higher compared to what Tajimra's tournament was so you have much bigger ships and I encourage multi-ship entries so you can get some fleet battles of course, if you don't do multi-ship entries, you get, um, yeah, that thing right there. That That is, you have a couple of these in here. They're terrifying. They're monster ships. Uh, I hope that my computer can handle these adequately. Uh, just a little disclaimer ahead of time. I don't run on the best rig in the world. In fact, it's pretty crappy. It's six years old and counting. Um, hopefully, we'll get it replaced within a few months, but that's all depending on life circumstances. But until then, the frame rates may be trash they may be worse than trash. I've tested it. It runs okay, it seems. Recording usually looks better than what I'm looking at when I'm recording it. But uh, if you see something come out and it's kind of grainy and low quality, I'm sorry. That's that's how it's going to be for a while. It won't be slideshow, I don't think. But yeah, just just bear with me if you guys would. Um, I'll do my best to keep it interesting and stop not you know jiggle it around too much. But anyway, that's enough blabbering. Let's get on with this. This is... Let me get my notes out. The Raging Barracuda, over here by Varian101. He has opted to spawn in broadside, and he has built a single ship entry here. And as you can see, have these cool little eye-looking things on the front with a bunch of kinetic, I think those are kinetic, uh, there's not Dahlgrens, I forget what they are. I can't remember the names, the Carbonara renamed all the cannons, but those are the main, the big kinetic dam uh, damaging cannons. These little ones are the mortars we were talking about. Those are the explosive cannons, and then these up here are either explosive or kinetic cannons. Um, anyway, yeah, he's just lined both sides of this, and in the back we have a couple more pods with uh, cannons in them. Got a huge... These aren't these aren't keels. I thought they were keels at first, but they're actually sails. Um, and because um, From the Depths is really wonky in the physics, sails that are underwater work as if they were above the water in the wind. Don't ask me why. That's the way it's coded. And it's lined all the way around with rams, so if anyone decides to bump into it for a friendly hug, it can hug right back. All the rudders in the front, and I guarantee there's some in the back too. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll see this thing perform. It should be very interesting. A lot of blocks on that. And over here, we have the Silverside Fleet by Thompson. He has opted to spawn it in facing towards its enemy, as opposed to the Barracuda, which is facing broadside. This is a triple ship entry. Three ships is the maximum that you can submit in one entry. And it is primarily explosive based. So you see all these little little guys. Sorry, the uh, movement's really fast. But all these little guys are explosive. There's a couple of kinetic, there's a row of kinetic on the bottom there. Yeah, it's just one row of kinetic and three rows of explosive mortars. And I like this little, it's got a little uh, steering wheel and everything and the lamps on the side. Uh, much more traditional looking ship. Um, very very nice looking. Uh, no tricky sails under the water or anything, but we'll see. This is going to be a 3v1, so the Barracuda is clearly outmatched, but it is outclassed. I mean, sorry, it's outnumbered, but it is outclassed. We'll have to see. And we'll stop talking and get this fight underway. This is round one. 
this is a single elimination tournament, so whoever loses is out. Are you ready? Let's see some sailing action. I hope I spawn them on the right team. I hope the frames are good. There we go. Okay, yeah. And right away, you can see what I mean. It's not it's not very fast. Okay, the Barracuda has launched its first volley of shells. It's launching another volley of shells. It fires rather quickly, it seems. It also wobbles a lot. I'm not sure what's up with that. The first volley seems to have fallen short. The Silverside Fleet is still trying to get in position. There's a volley from the from this Silverside ship. So the two that were facing to the sides when it was spawned are going to get shots off, but this one's not. So it's got to take the full brunt of the Barracuda's Wrath. And oh my goodness. There goes a sail. It just lost almost all of its sails. These ships are supposed to have three masts, and now it's got one. No, I'm sorry, four masts. Let's see how the Barracuda did. It took some damage. See some chunks missing from the top here. Yeah, explosives ripping across the front of it. Yeah, more raining in. Oh my goodness. A lot of blocks disappearing. Seems to be doing okay though. This poor but this poor silver side has just been ripped apart. It's gonna have a lot of trouble moving now, as if it didn't already have enough trouble. And with as many uh at that slow speed, the, the Barracudas could get some very easy shots off on it. And the cloud of shells passing each other midair. The broadside from the Barracuda just looks terrifying. It seems to fire a lot faster, too. Those were headed underwater. You've got some, under, some underwater hull damage and another cloud coming in. Oof. Those explosives can really tear apart sails if they hit them right. Oh, and there you go, see? That sail just took a hit right to the main mast and it's gone. I'll try using the binoculars here. It seems to do better for the frame rate sometimes. Got the forward facing guns firing now. The Barracuda is just bristling with weapons. So it's very hard to get to a point where it's blind and it can't hit you. There are the rear guns firing now. And it's so long that it can hit multiple targets at different angles. Thanks to its numerous guns and the the, uh, the construction of the ship. Those are going to connect it looks like. Nope, they're going to miss that, that silver side turd just in time. Barracuda's wobbling around trying to figure out what it's going to do with its life. Oh, those forward guns must have hit the silver side pretty hard. This one's hanging in there pretty good. Let's look over here. Where'd the other one go? There it is. This one needs to get in the fight. It's not uh, it's not done a lot yet. Except take some damage. Very pretty ships, the silver sides, but they don't seem to take a lot of damage very well. You can see there are more masts on this thing. It's got three on top and of course three on the bottom which are much harder to hit. And the masts themselves are just generally well armored. Got a lot of blocks around. Whereas the silver sides, they tend to have just that that single block right there. It's very, very hard to hit. Or very sorry, very, very hard to keep alive. It breaks very fact oh wow, no, those are there's no blocks in them at all. Or if there were they got blown out. Ooh, that's dangerous. It's a dangerous game you're playing there, Varian 101. This one's taking a lot of damage now. They're all, almost all, suffering in the mass department right now. Barracuda has been chewed up quite a bit on this side. It's lost a ton of blocks. About half of its armament on this side. But this side is completely fine, and now it's opening up on the silver side that's come around the back here, around the front of it here. And while the silver side still has guns, it doesn't have nearly enough to do the damage it needs to do to get those guns offline. Which is really, really bad news. Oh my goodness. Getting absolutely shredded. 
I'm going to do something real quick, guys. Try to fix these frame rates a bit. I know this is terrible. There we go. See if that helps at all. No, not much. Like I said, I'm sorry that the frame rates are this bad. I, uh, I was hoping my computer could handle this, but uh, it's struggling. Though I don't know, the recording may look better, because the last time I recorded it, it looked like this when I was recording, and then when I looked at the recording, I was like, whoa, that's really smooth, actually. So we'll see. Another volley of shots. This side of the Barracuda has just been hammered. A lot of guns missing, a lot of blocks, but it's not a lot of internal damage yet. This one's still struggling. It's got most of its guns left. But now the Barracuda's being hammered on both sides. It can give as good as it gets, though. Just shredding more of the bow. That silver side's just about ripped, taken out of this fight. This one has taken a pounding. Oh my goodness, yeah, he's, it's, it's lost just about all of its guns. It's completely been stripped of its guns on this side, and it can't get its other guns around to bear on the Barracuda in time. The Barracuda is sitting in a prime position. Like I said, it's so long that it's hard to get out of its firing arc. And now it's just a matter of which one it decides to aim for first. Because it's pretty much got these silver sides at its mercy right now. It's managed to weather the storm until they can get turned around to a point where they can actually hit the Barracuda and use the weapons that haven't been destroyed. They're at its mercy. And you're going to see something here that happened a lot with ships of this era. It's called uh, being raked across the bow, or in this case, across the stern. There's actually an official term for it. I call it being raked across the stern. It's where an enemy ship broadsides, sails past the back or the front of your ship, and just broadsides in sequence as it goes by. And this is what you're seeing right now. It just tears a ship apart. Because most of these ships of this era, the 16th and 17th century, didn't have guns in the front or the back, so it was a completely vulnerable spot. It was a very desirable position to be in if you're trying to kill an enemy. Get a, get your ship broadside to their front or their back and just come raking across it with sequenced fire. And that's what happened to that silver side just now. And these look like they're kind of kind of missing, but they're also hitting. There's more guns, more blocks off of each of these, and that's just not a good situation to be in right now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, that's not good at all. Uh, this this side of the Barracuda is pretty much, well, it's not out of the fight yet, but you can see it's it's missing a lot of its guns. It's listing heavily, struggling to keep itself out of the water. That's going to mess with the arc on these guns. This side is still kicking, though. If it can bring this around to bear on one of those silver sides, it could pretty much destroy them at this point. This is 57 for this one, I believe. Yeah, 57% for this one. If I had to guess, that one's 79%, and that one is, nope, that's 79%, that's 69%. So I'm pretty sure at this point the Barracuda is in a very definite lead right now. Of course, the Barracuda itself is at 84, so it's taken quite a hit. But right now it's just able to out-tank the damage being put out, and it's whittled down these silver sides to a point where they really don't have a lot to answer with now. They have a lot of HP to make up right now. Now, granted, they're still pretty equal, equal in terms of relative HP. The entire fleet actually is about equal to the Raging Barracuda's HP. But individually, these ships do not have a lot left in them. And neither does the Barracuda. It's lost a mast. The other two are sh badly, badly shredded. The Barracuda has not come out of this unscathed. It's been hit very, very hard. And that silver side can still shoot, too. Look at that incoming fire.
cannonballs galore. And then those aren't just cannonballs, those are mortars. I'll pull out here and see if I can get a little bit fra better frame rate. Barracuda is pretty much fighting these two by itself now. This one has, th both of those have lost all propulsion and will probably end up going out of range if this continues too much longer. Let me see here. Yeah, they're not quite there. This one's getting close, that 57 percenter. If, if this guy goes out of range and, you know, we'll start the timer, but I'll probably go ahead and destroy him because he's out of the fight. Barracuda has to go to him to make him, uh, to get him back in this, and, and, you know, that's not fair to the Barracuda. It's fighting hard as it is, just trying to beat these other two. And the rules say, you know, you're out of the fight for more than 60 seconds, you're disqualified. And if you're multi-fleet entry, that, that means that, the multi-ship entry, I'm sorry, if you're a multi-ship entry, any individual ship that goes out of bounds is disqualified, not the entire fleet automatically it's it's just whichever ship goes out of bounds it'll be shut off and, de and destroyed these two silver sides are still shooting back as you can see they just tore a huge chunk out of the side of the barracuda and the barracuda has not much left on this side to hit, to answer with it's firing a few ragged volleys in fact it looks like these silver sides have come off much better in terms of guns um, it's got a ton of the guns left on it the Barracuda does not, but the Barracuda has one healthy side left. It's just got to get itself around to the point where it can actually hit them. And you can see it's got some guns firing on that, but not many. It needs to turn this ship. Ah, see, even the cannonballs underwater managed to get to some of these sails, so it's hurting really bad. The Barracuda is starting to lose in agility. However, because of its turning pattern and the way that silver side is sailing, these guns are about to come online. Of course, that's assuming that uh, they're not trying to aim at something else, which they aren't. They've just figured out they can shoot at that, so here it goes. This could be the end of the silver side. It doesn't have a whole lot of guns left to answer with. It's kind of been pecking away at the Barracuda from this angle, but it's now come into full broadside range, and oh my goodness. There goes that last, well, there's a bit of a mass left, but there's almost nothing left on that side. The whole length of this ship is gone. There's nothing left. The only guns left are on the other side. Some more shot, another one or two volleys like that, and the uh, Barracuda could very well end up going down to the center of the ship and finding an ammo store somewhere. I'm liking the fact that because these ships are so big, you're not getting instant ammo rack detonations like we did in a, in the last in the pirate ship tournament. Um, ammo detonations were pretty frequent um, in the first five minutes or so because there just wasn't a lot of room to hide ammunition in the ships, and uh, so you ended up having after volley four, five, or six, you know, the it would find its way to the ammo and core it out, and the ships had to limp along on like maybe one or two boxes of ammo that managed to survive the uh, the explosion and it got a little dull so at least in this way the ships get to hammer on each other until they fall apart literally uh, although we'll say at this point if somebody gets ammo racked um, it, it's gonna pretty much spell the end for them uh, all those just again all those explosives just chipping away at the side I'm starting to see some internals here chewing at this thing. I'm looking at this side mostly because there's nothing left on the side of the Barracuda. It's got like maybe a handful of cannons left to plunk away at that lone silver side that's stuck way out there. Let's check another. Yeah, it's... I'm not going to disqualify it. It's right on the edge. I mean, I should probably, but at this point, what's the use? <laughs> These guns are still active. It turns out they've been really useful because they've been able to hit this one in the front where it, a normal ship would have been unable to hit anything. That silver side has most of the guns left in this entire in this entire fleet and uh, could do some real damage if it had been left unchecked. But because the front guns have been working on it, it doesn't have as many guns as it could have. Of course, this one's completely useless now. I mean, it's got guns, but they're all over here. 
they don't turn it hasn't been able to turn itself around neither of these uh entries have been very very maneuverable barracuda actually has shown more maneuverability than the uh silver sides have in this inf entire fleet in, in, in this match i can english i swear i swear i can but yeah i mean and it, it also doesn't help that the uh silver sides have lost all their masts like i think every single one of them yeah there's not a single mast left in the entire fleet Whereas the Barracuda can still move because it's got masts. These ships are all done in the water. They're just waiting to be destroyed. We have nine minutes, about ten minutes left on the clock. But I, I'm going to unofficially say that, uh, oh, oh, this one just died. Yep, 52%. That's going to be too damaged. And it's going to despawn. Farewell, Silverside. You fought bravely. I don't know, is it despawning? Ooh, there's some ammo poking out from underneath it. Yep, there it goes. It's despawning, just despawning slowly. Because my computer's crap. And that is the end for that Silverside. There are two left, and the Barracuda is going to go chow down on them now. It still has... A few rags of sails left, and it's going almost into the wind, so it's going to move very, very painfully slow to get to its target, but it can still move. Those two cannot. And with eight and a half minutes left on the clock, unless they score some really miraculous hits on the Barracuda, there's, there's a lot of things just got to fall right into place for these to even hope to win at this point. The Barracuda has to sail right between them. If it, if it sails right, right in here, like it is right now, if it comes right through here, those two could use what's left of their broadsides to maybe try to hurt it badly enough. But that's a huge point difference. Eh, not too big of a point. It's 10%, 70%, but still, I mean, a couple more good hits on that one, and it's despawning on its own. Check its distance one more. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not moved the entire time. There's the Barracuda's guns firing again. Another thing to notice in this tournament, unlike just about every other tournament you'll find in From the Depths, no repairs are allowed. So all repair functions are, are, are not even existent on these entries. They have no ability to repair themselves. So any damage you see is absolute and final. Everything you lose is gone for good. There's no coming back from the dead. So what you see is what you get here. One very, very badly damaged Barracuda going up against two completely immobile and badly damaged silver sides. Yeah. Since that third, that first uh, silver side died, I have to admit the frames have gotten a little bit better. The poor Barracuda can't even move. It's trying. I think it's moving. It should be moving. Yeah, it's moving, but it's moving so, so slow. I don't even know what's firing at right now. I may end up speeding up the video here if it takes too long. We'll have to see. It's got to work its way slowly but surely in between these ships so it can get that broadside onto them. But it's only got six minutes left. It just might not have enough time to make its kills. It's like it's trying to doggy paddle its way up here, wiggling back and forth. Another damage report. Silver size down to 55%. Another percent off of that health, and it's going to despawn on its own. Or may already be despawning, is it? Nah. Not yet. Not yet. 
Barracuda is trying to make it despawn. It's trying to use this front gun to its advantage. Come some cannonballs. That one definitely hit. A couple more pieces off, but it's not a lot. There's nothing. There's not much left on the side of the Barracuda. It just doesn't have anything to fire with. The Silver Sides put up a really, really hefty fight. I mean, they really did. You look at, look at how big this thing is. And it's down to 70%. They whittled it down to almost nothing. This side's nothing but wooden blocks. Just the superstructures, all that's left of it. You see the air pumps all the way down through the ribs. Ammo's down there, and they almost got to the ammunition. Oh my goodness, they were so close. If they'd hit that, would have blown a big chunk in this ship. But alas, they did not have enough to finish the job, and now the Barracuda is finally getting in range. Finally getting to a point where it can open up with those, those mortars, only to swivel around because, you know, the AI can't figure out what to do with life. Down to four minutes left, the Barracuda is still hammering away, or trying to hammer away. It's finally getting some shots off into this silver side. The silver side is getting its shots back into it because, of course, it's now in, within the uh, the silver side's firing arc too. So we have a last hurrah from the silver sides. Going to see who has enough power to pull this off. I'm I'm fairly certain the Barracuda's got this. It's got three and a half minutes left. I'm not seeing the Silver Side having enough firepower to bring it back at this point, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. It is pretty badly damaged, so maybe the Silver Side could get a lucky ammo detonation, put some big holes in it. it certainly seems like the Silver Side has a better firing angle on the Barracuda than the Barracuda has on the Silver Side, which is funny when you consider the fact that the uh, Silver Side has no ability to steer itself at all. It's got a little bit of rudder action, but that's it. Maybe that's helping it. It's able to turn and keep those guns active. That Barracuda needs to do what it's doing right now. It needs to swivel and let all these guns bear on it. There we go. Now it's getting some shots off. And here comes the rain from both sides. The Barracuda sides just lighten up. Not a lot of shots coming from the Barracuda. I thought there'd be more guns than that. They seem to be firing really staggered. Those in the back don't seem to be doing anything at all. Maybe too badly damaged. And these are all confused. They're trying to figure out what they're going to do. Down to two minutes remaining. We're going to see... <laughs> Oh dear. Mobility seems to have been the killing factor for both of these ships in this round. Things have slowed down to a crawl here, although the Barracuda has finally brought itself within range and is now being mercilessly pummeled by the remaining Silver Side. And we've got a minute and 40 left. If the Silver Side continues that kind of damage and doesn't get any reply from the Barracuda, it might conceivably be able to pull this off. Of course, it all depends on its teammate over there not despawning prematurely. Because if the teammate despawns, then the Barracuda certainly will win. Barracuda's trying to hit it. The wiggling motion and the lack of guns on the side there are not helping its cause in the least. And there's not much left of this ship to hit, so it's very, very difficult. for it to do anything here. Here come some cannonballs. Yeah, I'm not sure. This is very close in the end. I honestly thought the Barracuda had more in it than that, but it's 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 starting to lose blocks left and right, and there's 45 seconds remaining. These silver sides are not giving up. The Barracuda might actually lose this after all of that. It's lack of mobility. Its inability to guide itself might actually be the killing factor here. 
most of these guns seem to be offline that those on the right are doing okay. But those are the only ones that left that seem to actually work. And if the facing nose on like this, those are the only ones it has to shoot with. And now it's turning it's turning its bad side. Oh no, twelve seconds remaining. I think the Barracuda may actually lose this, folks. We'll have to see. But yes, the clock is ticking down. And that's it, folks. Oh. Oh, just as the timer went off. Just as the timer went off. The remaining silver side despawned. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, Varian 101. I am so sorry. Your ship held on for so long. Your fleet held on for so long. If that last ship had not despawned right at the buzzer there, the Barracuda would have lost, I think. But as it is, there's now nothing left to even contest the win. It is undoubtedly the Barracuda with a sixty-five with a five percent lead over the Silver Side, or last remaining Silver Side, who is going to go on in the tournament. Uh, my condolences, Varian One Hundred One. Your ship fought well, and congratulations. Oh, I have got this wrong. I'm sorry. Varian, Varian 101 did not build the uh, silver side. That was Thompson. Thompson, I'm sorry, man. You, your ships have lost. Varian 101, your Raging Barracuda will be going on to fight in the next bracket. Congratulations, man. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode.